If a woman was... has sex outside of marriage or is raped and becomes pregnant, she can be stoned for adultery because no, the pregnancy no, is proved. No, clearly, she's a hypocrite. You, Listen, you yeah, are not telling no, the so, truth. So got women, away with it. women get raped on the streets of UK all the time. Uh, there is no Western homosexuality and Qatari homosexuality or uh, being a woman in the UK versus being a woman in Iran or Qatar. This is not about Western versus Eastern because there are many women, many gay people who live in Qatar, who live in Iran, who live in Saudi Arabia. They want that dignity here and now. I'm but sorry, Marianne, but the fact you're, is you're, you're that but the fact Marianne, is you know the that. fact is sorry, don't talk over me. I know you're used to doing that, no, but we, don't do we're it. Just talking. No, I, I haven't finished. Sports is meant to go beyond all of that, but um, we can also use sports as a way of. Uh, bringing human rights up for everyone, mm -hmm. respecting human rights up for everyone. And I think that is a job of FIFA, that is a job of the World Cup. Human rights, which she supports ostensibly, as she claims, a Western definition of it, is about the right to choose to dress. And yet she is the person who said a couple of years ago that she would um, ban the burqa. And she said that I think every secularist and women's rights defender should support a burqa and niqab ban. So clearly she's a hypocrite when it comes to Muslims choosing what they want to wear because she feels Not that Muslim Not women either. making that choice is somehow subjugating themselves and she knows better. She can tell Muslim women what to do. They can't tell themselves let's, let's, what no, to do. I'm, so uh, you are a hypocrite, I madam. I think, a stop hypocrite. pointing your finger at me. Why not? Um, I mean, the point is, look, of course, women have the right to veil. Everyone has the right to clothing. The point of the burqa and, uh, is that it's a body bag on women. If men are so offended by women's hair and bodies, uh, you know, there are um, these, these uh, uh, masks that they put on donkeys so that their eyes will be covered. Men are free to wear those if they are so offended by women's hair and bodies. The point is that in countries under Islamic law, women don't have that right to mm -hmm. unveil. They're imprisoned. As we know, in Iran, Masa Amini, a 22-year-old Kurdish woman, was recently killed because a few strands of her hair were showing. The difference is, though, with the burqa, it is a, a female body get a bag. It is a fabric erasure of women from the public space. And, and also it, it reduces women to sexual objects because men must desire them. And it also reduces men to being the kind of people that can't control themselves mm -hmm. around women. And, and, and a nudist might make the same argument. A nudist might say that all those clothes you're wearing are body bags, which are sexualizing the human being. And only if we embrace nudism, and everyone should, should, should be uh, deprived of the right to wear clothes, to, to protect them from subjugation, then they can be liberated and desexualized. So that same silly argument you made, and then a nudist could sit here, uh, probably hopefully with clothes on, and make the same argument against you guys, that you're all wearing body bags and wearing, all kinds of clothes. So this is ridiculous. Why can't workout. women choose? Women Why can't women choose to wear the niqab? Because Why do you support the ban, I think that's, Marianne? Oh, okay, so I think that's an interesting question. But isn't it, aren't we all saying, well, it sounds like we're all saying, pro-choice. We want the woman to have the choice. The issue is when they don't have the choice. No, I'm, I'm really just highlighting her double standards and hypocrisy. She says it's not because rights, uh, it's... rights about people having the right to choose what to dress, except Muslim women no, who want to all. wear any covering and, and uh, have you. I, uh, maybe they feel, is, do, do maybe no, they no, feel no. more protected. She's, just, fam, she's so. just said three my times. My family is, uh, I have <laughs> a family who are Muslim. Uh, some in my family are veiled. This is not the point. If men who promoted the burqa and niqab actually wore that, mm -hmm. they wouldn't be as supportive of it. And also, the burqa and niqab are very much an Islamist flag, which is why they are so supportive of it. And therefore, calling for a ban is actually in line with defending women's rights and human rights. Sure, I could say that, that, that society has a right to public decency and therefore public displays of sex or sexual affection, um, uh, more than just holding the hand, uh, should be banned to protect people's it rights to Islamic public decency. Space. I it can is. turn that argument right back against it you, is you an see. Islamic Anyone space. can make the argument that of banning anything because of a, I'm going to in insert right here, and then that means I have to ban a whole bunch of things. So okay. give me a justified basis by which Islamic rights, it makes sense, uh, that doesn't, doesn't make Black sense, rights. and Western rights is somehow rational, right uh, even though, and that. not just an imposition Am or I right a, in thinking that Black sometimes rights. women get stoned in the streets in some yes. of these countries? Yes. Where's the decency? Where's the public decency there? Where's the... In fact, in, in, the fact streets. In, in Qatar, just six weeks ago, a female university student was stoned to death in a so-called honour killing by her family 
because she didn't follow the strict way in which women are supposed to behave. Abdullah, does Stone that, to death. Does, does that Stone law, to death. Does that law is, exist? And, and does that law does exist? Not in Qatar. And that is... Oh, wait, so it didn't and, happen. And it, is, and it was not investigated by wait, the Qatari authorities. Wait. The murderers got away get, with it. Women get raped on the streets of UK all the time. The oh, well, that's all right, then. Murder and rape. <laughs> Should I now put that as, as an indictment against the West the or indictment against the Britain, problem you see? Is having that's what you're doing. You're saying Islamist. some criminals in the Muslim world do something bad. This must mean all Muslims no. are bad or Islam no. is and bad. Not and yet your criminals do not represent your own state. Again, hypocrisy and double standards. Let's have a real conversation about Islam. Let's have a real conversation about Islam. who was murdered by her own family in a so-called honour killing, the Qatari authorities have not investigated the murder they have not brought the perpetrators to justice, even though it, her murder has been reported to them. And earlier this year, something similar happened to a young gay man taken out into the desert by his family, beheaded and buried in a shallow dra grave. The Qatari authorities did nothing to investigate his murder either, even though they were informed about it. There was a lot of words to say, I condemn women being stoned in any country. So I'm waiting for that. OK, so... No, um, wait, yes, he's got to explain Excuse me, can I, can, I, can, I, can I answer now? You're like, ahead, you really love cutting in. You really have really cutting in. You really have, really have cutting in. Answer, really answer, cutting answer. in. All right. Answer. The, um, from the Islamic perspective, Islamic law, there's prohibitions on, on adultery, OK? Um, if it's made, if, if a public adultery, which is, vir is virtually impossible to prove, it's more of a symbolic law, right. and the, because, because it's impossible to prove. The point, the law is meant to scare people from being adulterous. And why do we, uh, and it applies to both men and women, not to just women. Why do we only care if it only applies to women? It applies to men and women, right? Adulterers okay. in Islamic law, from classical Islamic law, um, uh, uh, the, uh, when they make their adultery public, which is no, it's virtually true. impossible. Yes, true. yes, that you, you know that's impossible. It's, no, also, you are based on for, it's also based on confession. You know that. You, Listen, you yeah, are not telling the so, truth. So if someone you wants are not to, telling the truth let me finish, you, let me finish. you can so talk if nonsense. Wants to, if someone wants to come and say, I'm an adulterer, stone me. Yes, because if a woman is raped, if a woman was... has sex outside a marriage or is raped and becomes pregnant, she can be stoned for adultery because no, the pregnancy no, is proof. Th there has Second to of be all, a, no, if there are witnesses, no, no. that is proof. Okay, but, uh, so uh, you wait, are wait, lying. Wait, wait, wait. Is stoning me, part of Islamic wait, law? Didn't need, Muhammad again, say in a hadith? Over me again, didn't right? Muhammad say in a hadith? Okay, look, I, I know you have an ex to grind because you're ex Muslim. I'm ex Christian, but I don't. I've got over it. Abdullah, we would settle this much quicker just say you don't you agree just, with stoning if you just ask the question if you, if you agree with stoning that's your view and you're entitled to it but it's give not, us a solid it's answer it's not my view you i'm, I'm only it. reporting um islamic law which states that adulterers are executed if they make their adultery public okay, okay. And do you okay. condemn that the, the stoning of, of islamic women of or men even who make that public in the way in which you've described oh. Are you telling me that, do I condemn Islamic law? Do you condemn people being stoned? Well, that's what he's saying. He can't because... Yes or no. Wait, 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 no wait, wait a second, wait a second. Why is it relevant what I... Because <laughs> you're here talking about this. I'm telling this. you what you Islamic law says. You spent the last half an hour defending tyranny. That's what yes. you've been doing. Yes. Not really. Yes. So because do... because who yes. says you have a right to commit adultery and cheat on your partner? Who so says you, you can stone to someone to death so because know. they have sex the, outside a marriage? The state has do the you monop understand that? The state has the monopoly. How dare you? States how dare you say that someone should be stoned because America, they have sex have, outside a marriage? How dare you? I don't agree you with executions in the in US. I don't agree with executions anywhere. Uh, but you well, will and, accept executions if your economic law does it. How dare you? You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm just glad we got there. I'm glad we got there. Finally. I'm glad we got there. I think it's sometimes what's not said that's most um, powerful. <laughs> you said homosexuality isn't illegal in Qatar, but under the Qatari Penal Code, yep. 2004, same-sex yep. activity is punishable by up to seven years in prison. And no, it's by years... up to three. It's but between one to three years, and it's no, that's uh, for sodomy. Uh, for sodomy, that's and it's no different sodomy. to. Um, fornication is between one to three sex. okay for sex. So, so that means one that, to three years that okay. means that no, straight it's, straight it's couples okay. and okay. and uh, same sex couples get the same punishment. It's even five equal minutes rights okay. In Qatar. You get equal it's even rights five in minutes in prison Basically. okay. No, How about no, ten minutes? How about oh no? Let's. It's actually two months and three days. It, the point is, it's, you should. It, you, you cannot don't have a criminalize basis to condemn them. You, you apart from just your umbrage and oh, this is against um, the Western do, values that I've learned do. and imbibed. You're I'm sorry. You need a better argument than simply don't. say, oh look, look at look at this Muslim who who won't condemn his own religion. I'm sorry. Nobody's I'm not. To, I'm not ashamed of my belief system. Exactly. We have a reason why we believe in God. Exactly. We have a reason why 
that uh, we believe that good and bad is, is determined yes. by the creator. You have a right so, to believe so it. You have to, so uh, you can criticize if you don't, if you don't like no, it. No, you can believe you what can you want. An argument, okay. But yes. don't just simply say that we, well, uh, Shibboleth questions, do you condemn your religion or not? And, and, and whatever your religion is, uh, whatever your choice is, we're going to uh, judge you on, on you it. Have free no, will. you have give free me an will. argument. You are give making a decision to believe in that stuff. You have free will. And to you say... have free will to believe in, in Western human rights and not. But also the difference is. I wish you. Could, I wish you could just justify it. But please. the difference. The we difference are, is that are. if I if I don't like. Now it's not a perfect system. I grant it. But if I don't like some of the uh, human rights in this country, unlike Qatar, which is not democratic, I can say right. Well, okay. I get power once every four or five years. I can. Well, I can vote out. Good luck in the party system getting power. Well, anyway. you know it's yeah. better than nothing. It's better than there being a, what this municipal council in Qatar can I, can that I, advises the royal what, family. You know the only problem with democracy is, though, the only problem with... I'm sorry, with, there's with, a problem with democracy. Yes, oh, yes, yes. yes. Uh, the Mr. majority that gives you your rights are the same majority that can take away your rights. Can oh, well, I let's just, get rid of it, then. Can I just no, make no, a no, point? That's why England is not a democracy. Can I just make a point? Last point, I agree with you. I think what's important to acknowledge and understand is the fact that we can all have whatever beliefs we want. That is not the issue. That is not the issue. We are not discussing that. People have a right to be Muslim. They have a right to be Satanist. They have a right to be... Um, you know, uh, political views, religious views, non-religious views, that is a fundamental human right. The point that we're making here today is about Qatar and that when those laws, when those beliefs, in any, any sort of beliefs, become part of the law and the state, we have to recognize the fact that not everyone has those beliefs because the reality is that even for many Muslims, the laws against homosexuals is intolerable because there are many gay people who live in countries under Islamic rule. The law uh, of stoning is considered intolerable. So, and there are lots of people fighting against these laws in the Middle East, in North Africa, in South Asia, against religion in political power. That's the point we're making. So people can have whatever the beliefs they want, but they cannot shove those beliefs down people's throats in the law, I, I wish you why took the your state, advice, and also, you, listen, you are defending I wish you killing people, advice. so don't you dare tell me I take my advice. You well, have sat there you want defending. Carbs, you, you have defended. Listen, you dare. You dare defend Muslims, stoning of women tell, and men uh, to death. Tell Muslims how about dare rights, you please. even speak please. to any? How dare you even speak please. about it's when the state rights? Makes, the point you are defending when the state states. Endorses the you violence. are defending right. that. Um, you every, are an Islamist that defends the murder. Oh, does not endorse a particular moral worldview to base its laws but upon. But then there is the no. democratic okay. right to try and change. I'm going to move on. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. That's the only question. Very inflammatory. Right?